Hey everybody, this is Christina Williams with Just Criminal Law. It's all we do. The other day, David Mann and I were talking about an instance where someone came into my office with a possession charge and they were telling one of my team members, well, I don't think this really matters because of you know what the White House has done to help out people with possession charges. So we got to talking about that. Hi, David. Hi there, Christina. Yeah, and we just were talking and thought, hey, this would be a good thing for a video is because even you and I were like, I think we need to go back and look up. What did he say exactly? What, what was the White House thing? And we looked it up and found out that it's actually a lot more narrow in terms of who it protects than we originally thought it was. And we assume probably a lot of people think that it has a much broader you know, uh, implications than it actually does. So what is it, what is the, do you have it in front of you? Do you, what does it say? Yeah, I looked at it right before we started. And what it says is that um, President Biden is going to pardon people with federal simple possession charges. And a federal simple possession charge is just like a misdemeanor charge that went through federal court. Okay, so that's a th that's a, that's a break this down for people because I, I found this to be so interesting that it it says um, pardons it, what people are taking from what it was said by the White House and what's been kind of repeated in a simpler form in the media basically sounds like pardoned for having marijuana possession, like anybody who's ever had marijuana possession is pardoned from that for till the end of time but that's not what it is if you break down the actual language of what was said so it says um federal simple possession so first of all what is just tell us a little bit about the difference between a federal charge and a state charge for anything what's the difference there well the state charge is what mo a majority of people are looking at. A federal charge means that you were charged by a federal prosecutor, you went in front of a federal judge, and that only happened to 6,500 people. So only 6,500 people in the United States have a federal simple possession charge. Okay, so, and, but there's also a distinction between simple possession and some other type of possession. So, uh, when you and I were talking before, the there is a there is a an amount of marijuana that is so huge that it is that it is not under this this pardon. So what's the distinction between a simple possession and whatever else the other one would be? Well, the simple possession is just considered personal use, a personal use amount, and a. Um, larger than personal use amount is a felony. And this doesn't cover anybody who's charged with a felony possession, which includes all those people who had more than a personal amount of, of marijuana. And it doesn't include anybody who was growing marijuana or even if it was just for their own use or anyone who was possessing marijuana and selling it or intended to sell it. That's those people are not covered by the pardon. Correct. So the simple and then there's a state conviction, a state uh, uh, simple possession and a state felony versus a federal felony and a federal simple possession, right? Correct. Am I tracking this so far? Okay, so that's f actually four different types of <laughs> convictions, two for state and two for federal. And this one is only talking about one specific type. And that is, what was that again? That is just the simple possession for a federal charge, which almost nobody since... Um, marijuana became a Schedule One controlled substance. Almost no one, only 6,500 people have had to go through that process. So it's very limited, very narrow, and almost applies to no one. And that, it, what's the reason for it? Uh, it I think it, it used to be more common many, many years ago that people would get this kind of a charge, but, but, but recently it hasn't been. Is that correct? Well, I don't even know if it was ever common for anyone to get a, a misdemeanor federal possession ticket. I think it was very uncommon, actually. And, you know, a lot of times the feds are only interested in the really big marijuana cases. Um, you know, for example, somebody's 
found in possession of 500 pounds of marijuana. That is something one of the federal prosecutors is interested in today. It would be interested in today, um, but anything less than that, really, the feds the feds aren't interested in, in clogging up their system with a lot of marijuana charges. Oh, okay. So it sounds like if you're out there and thinking that you're pardoned. Uh, you know, maybe you're not. <laughs> so we're going to do a whole separate video that just gets into the exact amount that is a simple possession and all that. But we thought this one could just cover, you know, what are the terms? What, what exactly are the levels of violation? So I think that's pretty clear. Yeah. And the important thing, David, is it's still a crime. It's still a crime in Wyoming and South Dakota. And so you should definitely still get an attorney if you're facing a possession charge. Okay. And it sounds like you know how to help people out in this kind of a jam. So how do they get a hold of you? Well, we've included a link in the description. They can call, text, or chat with a member of my team anytime, day or night. We know you only get one shot at justice. So make yours count.